Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. Welcome back to episode 99 of How to Minecraft. That's right. The big nine nine. One more episode until episode 100 of How to Minecraft. Now the plan is to have episode 100 be something real great. Something that I work on, spend some time on. So that is what I'm going to do. However, you need to be aware. Hey buddy. You need to be aware, my beautiful, lovely audience, that... It's probably not going to be coming until Friday. Uh, what day is Friday? I'm checking right now. Probably the 27th of this month because I want time to do it up. And, you know, this is episode 99, which means there can't be any more episodes until episode 100 because that's the next video. So probably on the 27th, you can expect to see the How to Minecraft. I wanted to apologize that I have not have had a How to Minecraft episode up anytime recently in the last four or five days. Um, I've just been uploading other videos that uh, I've been, I don't know, I think, I feel like I've been uploading a lot of cool stuff lately uh, that isn't necessarily how to Minecraft, but it's still really good. Anyways, uh, all that aside, hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, make sure you drop a like on the video. It means so much to have your support for how to Minecraft. It's been a long journey that you guys have joined me for, and I am very excited to get to episode 100, and then of course to continue from there. Uh, but. Yeah, this episode, uh, if you did not watch episode 98, uh, where I enchanted all those great books, I actually had a little bit of a Q&A. And uh, this Q&A was my solution. Where's that freaking kitchen? I like forgot where I was going with this quartz block. Uh, the Q&A from last episode was kind of my solution to getting done projects that need to be finished, but are often done during things like live streams, where I don't necessarily have um, been doing. I haven't necessarily been doing live streams lately. I actually live streamed about three days ago um, on Chaos, the uh, faction server I play on, to test it out, and I didn't crash. Now, I'm not saying that I don't crash anymore, because I'm pretty sure I still do. But I didn't then, so that's, that's something that's good, I suppose. Oops, did that wrong. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just going to mine these really quick. But uh, anyways, back to what I was saying, I haven't been live streaming lately. And a lot of projects are done during live streams where, you know, I'm interacting with people and talking on the actual stream. That's kind of hard to do when you're not live streaming. So I've got this little Q&A that I've done where basically, hold on, I just want to. mess that up okay anyways uh, I'm, I'm curious how much coal I'm gonna get from this I set up a Q&A and what I'm gonna be doing for this Q&A is answering questions that y'all left me in the last episode and we're gonna accomplish some general housework and upkeep of the area I'm in today uh, in this episode and I'm gonna be answering questions that you left from the last episode the whole time uh, it's gonna be more of a stream like video but it's not actually being live streamed so I uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, what I want you guys to do is leave comments on this video for the next Q&A session I do. Um, now, that might not be for a week from now, maybe longer, maybe shorter. Well, obviously, not. it's going to be longer than a week from now because i got episode 100 coming up. But this is going to be my answer to getting done projects. So leave comments in this video about the following category. I'm going to pause and think about what I want you to leave me. All right, I'm back. Hi, how you doing? Uh, and I, I always take off my clouds. I like clouds. I think clouds are nice. I just take them off a lot because a lot of maps don't look good with them. Okay, so this category uh, that we're about to be answering questions from today is about school stuff. What I want you to leave in the comments for the next video we do like this is about being things you maybe are wondering about uh, when you're an adult, a grown-up, whatever. When you're 18, when you're 17 even, because I know a lot of you guys are younger. You got, I've got a, a younger audience, I've got some, you know, young kids, I've got teenagers, I know I've got, I've got adults that watch as well, and possibly parents that watch with the kids, but um, I figured a lot of you are younger than me, and I thought maybe that'd be something you were interested in, uh, you know, just asking me about, my own personal experiences uh, with the matter. So, leave those comments, please keep them uh, appropriate, I, I'm not afraid to answer serious questions, but let's... Let's be appropriate with our, you know what I mean? Let's be appropriate with our questions, because I think that'll be fair and fun. So go ahead and do that, and uh, now I guess we can go ahead and get into the comments. Uh, but while we're doing that, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be up to right now, and we're going to be moving this portal. We're finally going to be moving the portal into this area. Before we do that, though, I'm going to move 
all my chests inside because I know that's been killing you the same way it's been killing me. So let's go ahead and get into things. The first question we have here, actually, let me, um, I'm going to pause and get a nice area, area for me to look at my questions. All right, so it begins. <laughs> the first question I want to tackle, and this is a really interesting and a good question. This was from Diego Medina, and they asked, did you ever go to college? And if so, what were you studying for? Now, this is funny uh, because I was in college, and I'm not in college anymore. And uh, that is because I'm doing YouTube. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? I'm doing what I love to do. And that is a very important thing that I wanted to touch base on with you guys. A lot of you are young. A lot of you are still in school. A lot of you are not in college yet. A lot of you are looking to go to college. Maybe some of you are not looking to go to college. College is a great thing. College is... Hey, friend. <laughs> what are you doing? Actually, let me... Where do I want to put... Let's put him in that... I want him to be somewhat accessible still. Let's um, let's just start dumping him right here, and I'll get rid of it. No, let's, oh, I'm so, so lost with what I want to do. Okay, so Diego said, did I ever go to college, and if so, what was I studying for? Well, let me answer your question first, and then I'll get into what I was going to say. I was in college for a while, and I wanted to do psychology. That's what I was going to college for. Was I wanted to study psychology. I figured it was a very interesting subject. It's kind of explains human behavior and, and what things mean in a lot of ways when people do certain things or say certain things and mean certain things. So I, I went to school for college. Um, I was very almost convinced into go to college, get your degree, all that kind of stuff. Like It's good for you and it is good for you. I also wanted to do sociology, which is like the study of people and how they interact with each other and, and, and things of that nature. This is just like a random chest. Let me just, <laughs> I'll deal with you later, I suppose. And then here's my tool chest. I definitely need to stump you out. And I guess we can just keep you in there. Okay. Um, I'm getting distracted, as I figured might happen, and I should not have done that. Dang it. Should not have done that. I need to grab the ch oh okay I did grab the chest that's good okay 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 easy we got we gotta rush back real quick before a creeper comes blows it up um college is good college is a good thing to do it's a good thing to go to if you either if you know what you want to do and you know it needs college or it's a good thing to do if you don't know what you want to do let's say. I want to go to college and I want to be an engineer, like my friend Sean. He is an engineer. He's going to school for engineering, electrical engineering. You need college for that. So you go to college, right? You go to college, put in your time, put in your years, get your degree, get a good job. Or you have no idea what you want to do. Man, I'm fresh out of school. I don't really know what I want to do with myself. Let's go to college, study a few courses, see what interests me. So you go to college for that. So that's a good thing to do, is go to college for that exact reason. But let's say you know what you want to do, and you know that it doesn't require college. It doesn't need college. I am of the personal belief that you shouldn't go. If what you want to accomplish in your life does not require higher education or you are so sure that what you want to do does not require college, then why would you go? Why would you go to college? I'm not in college right now. I dropped out of college. I am a college dropout. You know who else is a college dropout? And I know this gets tossed around a lot. Bill Gates was a college dropout. Um, I believe uh, Steve Jobs was a college dropout. Here's one. Out of left field, we have Einstein was a college dropout. You know who else was a college dropout? Do you? You don't? Well, I'll tell you who. Oh, this one's funny. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Kanye West. You, sure, maybe you don't like his music, but you can respect the man for what he's accomplished. If you don't need school, why, why go to school? Now, I know a lot of you might disagree with that, with me saying that. But that's my own personal opinion. You don't have to agree with it. That's fine. 
But I'm not in school because I've been given an opportunity to do YouTube and you know when opportunity knocks you got to answer because there's not I'm I, I'm in a situation where perhaps in a few years from now I won't be able to do YouTube and if I don't do it now while I'm still able to maybe I would never be able to on the flip side though school is always going to be there school is not gonna go away you can always go to school at any time so I decided okay better do YouTube while I still can while I'm hot <laughs> while it's happening for me and uh, if I ever decide I want to go back to school, I will. So yes, that's basically my personal stance is college is for people that need college. If you don't know what you want to do, go to college. If you know what you want to do and it needs college, go to college. If you know what you want to accomplish and it does not require college, then don't go to college. I never thought I'd say that, but that is, that's, that is how I feel. So. Now we have another question. What was the name of your very first crush and or girlfriend? This is from G.A. Lakeboy. My oldest crush I can probably remember back to was a girl named Megan in like second grade. Second grade. Did I not label this? I didn't. Shoot. Um, potion stuff. I don't know why I'm doing... I'm not going to do the signs. I don't care about the lines anymore. I got over that real fast. Megan. I had a crush on a girl named Megan in second grade. I remember one time it was, what was it? Halloween. And we all got to wear Halloween costumes. And Megan was Princess Diana. Now, most of you are not going to know who that is. But um, I don't, in fact, I don't really know why she was Princess Diana. I don't know why she decided to dress up as Princess Diana. That's actually very interesting. Now that I think about it, because Princess Diana was uh, basically, she was royalty in England, and she uh, died in a horrible car accident, um, I think in like 90, early 90s, I believe, possible, well, in the 90s at some point, I don't remember exactly, but she was Princess Diana, and I thought she was really cute in her outfit that she wore that day, Megan, I thought she was very cute, and I'd say I had a crush on her, that was second grade, and that's when I was living in Nevada, not in California, stayed over, so uh, when I moved away, I just... I never saw her again. That's just how it happens sometimes, people. Do none of these have signs? What is going on? Actually, let me... That's a grand idea. Let's let's put the seeds in this one. Good, sir. We'll grab all the wheat. Yes. Yes. Well, that was... Perfect, pretty much. You know, we still got the pumpkin seeds, but they don't really count. <laughs> so let me, uh, let me do this real quick, and then we will grab ourselves another... Question. Is there, was there no, um, well shoot, we'll do that. And then we'll put the rest of the seeds in here for now. Put the potatoes in here too? Why not? Why not? Why wouldn't I do that? Put all the potatoes all in here. And we'll just throw all that in there anyways. Okay, so next question we have. Did I get good grades? This is from Magda Kzaprinska. Not sure if I said that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. <laughs> did I get good grades, you say? Yes, I did get gra good grades. And despite... Oh, jeez. Oi! Oi! Not gonna happen. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Stupid punk. Gosh. Why did that stay open? Did I do that? Oh! No! Ah! Oh! I need to get my sword. I'm distracted enough as it is. I'll go ahead and <laughs> fix that up a little bit later. But the question that was asked was, did you get good grades or did you get bullied? I need advice because I get bullied. I'm 10 and in grade four. So that's what I mean. We have, we have younger audiences watching. You know, I did get bullied. I was bullied in high school and in middle school uh, because I was, uh, I was overweight. You know, I used to get called fat, uh, you know, Mostly just, I got called fat. I didn't get called, like, ugly or anything because I'm so freaking hot. No, but um, I got made fun of for my weight because um, kids kids can very, can be very cruel in school. Uh, I'll go about grades yet later, but, yes, I got good grades. <laughs> I got bullied in high school. Um, I told this story a while ago, actually. There was this incident, incident where um, I basically got chased down by a lad with a knife and I thought he was maybe gonna kill me or, you know, shank me or knife me or whatever. And it was someone that used to uh, bully me in school. I got bullied by this person uh, when I was in school. 
and um, they followed me home one day as I was walking home from school, and they were starting to throw rocks at me from a distance, and um, let's put food in here. That makes so much sense. They started throwing rocks at me, and I was just like, man, what the heck are you doing? Why are you doing that? What I do to you? Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And uh, then he, he covered his he covered his face with his uh, hoodie, like wrapped it around the bottom of his face so he could only see his eyes, and he pulled out a knife, and he started chasing me through my neighborhood. And luckily, someone was an adult was outside uh, when that happened, and I was just like, stop, help me. This guy's chasing me. He's got, you know, he's got a weapon. And, you know, that kid ended up being suspended from school uh, for what he did. But, yeah, I used to get bullied a lot, and I was really self-conscious about how I looked. I would try to talk to girls in school, and they would just kind of laugh at me, and I just assumed it was because of how I looked. I wasn't exactly the most handsome lad in the world. I didn't really know how to take care of myself, and as a result, I was made fun of for it. But I'll say this. If you're bullied, just... Feel bad. Feel bad for the other person because anyone that's bullying you has problems of their own that, that they would feel it right to bully you. Someone that assumedly has not done anything wrong. If you have not done anything wrong and you're being bullied in school, you know, send a, send a thought out to that person that is giving you a hard time. And I know that's a weird way to look at it, but feel bad for them because I'm of the personal belief that people are not inherently bad people are people try to be good but bad bad things happen to people and if someone is bullying you there's a good chance it's because something's happening in their life that is making them act that way and maybe they need help as well so just another way to look at it you know um so thank you for that question let me look for another one hmm that is not a <laughs> that's not a question i was looking at a, a really thumbed up comment what is the worst consequence you've got for doing a bad thing in school says just dizzy okay here's here's a funny one and here's here's something that i can you know i say this and i'm not saying it to brag but it is something i feel very proud of for myself is i have never cheated when in school i was not because, uh, not because I necessarily thought it was bad, but because I did not want to deal with getting caught. And sometimes that's the best deterrent from cheating. I did not cheat in school. But there was one time where I, um, <laughs> I used to sit with some... I, I had some troublemaker friends. They, they weren't like bad kids, but they liked to, you know... They were just little... They were rowdy. They were rowdy in school. And... Uh, Sometimes they would throw, you know, when you buy lunches, you get like the chocolate milks or the, you know, orange juice little cartons. Well, I had friends that would buy those in mass and chuck them across the school and they would just explode when they hit the ground. And sometimes they would hit people and it was really, it was really awful that, uh, that that happened. But I was a stupid kid in high school and I thought it was hilarious. And that's the other thing I want to stress to you is like, you will grow up. If you're a little punk, like if you're a punk right now and you're a bully and you're a punk and you know it, there's a my dog. <laughs> there's a good chance you'll you'll grow up and you'll get over it. If 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 you if you know what I mean, like you, you'll get past that, you'll get over it, and you'll you'll be better. Just like me, like I used to be. I used to be an awful little kid. I was I was just a little punk. I was just a, I was just a bad kid. I really was a bad kid, and um, I'm I'm past that now, thankfully. But um, they would throw these orange juices and milks through the sky. And um, on one particular occasion, they launched like two, two friends launched like three in a row. So they launched like six total. And one of the proctors, aka like one of the staff members at school that's like in charge of making sure that kids aren't up to anything nasty in school, they swore that I was someone that threw something when I didn't. I always watched because, again, I was afraid of getting in trouble. I never caused problems, but I'm not going to sit here and say I didn't like when other people cause problems because problems are fun to watch sometimes. And um, one of the proctors like, came out of the bushes like, I saw you throw that, young man. Go to the principal's office right now. 
or she actually she she escorted me there, and uh, you know I was a little goody goody goody, um, <laughs> so I kind of managed to talk down my um, my my punishment. Originally, I was gonna have to go to Saturday school, which is where they take you and put you in uh, school on the weekend to like think about what you've done, young man, that kind of deal. And uh, I got a push back. Instead of three Saturday schools, I just got, uh, I think, five lunch detentions. I still didn't do it. And another thing is I didn't, I did not rat out my friend. I did not say, oh, he did it. And that's something I will say. Be cool. If you get in trouble, like, be mad at your friend. Get him back for it later. It's something funny or whatever. Put ice down his shirt or something. Because that's, that's funny and harmless. But don't, don't rat him out. Just take... Take the fall. Take the fall for your homeboy. Because he'll pay you back later. <laughs> and I'm still friends with that guy that I got in trouble for. Both of them, actually. Now, that's what I wanted to say before. It's the reason I managed to talk myself into a lighter punishment. It's because I was a little... I was a goody two-shoes in school. I, did, I never got into trouble. Didn't cheat. For the most part, I got good grades. And uh, what did I just do with... Oh, over here is this? I need to start labeling these. I forgot that I'm supposed to be mob drops, mob drops. I was a good kid. I was a good kid. I I really was a good kid, and uh, and I'm not. I'm not. I don't feel bad about that. Like I'm proud that I you know <laughs> took the time to be a good person in school. I you know, I never called. I didn't really get into trouble. I didn't call people names. If I did, I you know, I said sorry. I, stuff like that, and. Uh, <laughs> I tried real hard, and uh, I ended up getting lazy at some point. You know, some people they think they're they're real smart and they don't feel challenged. I don't feel challenged enough, so I'm not gonna try because this is too easy for me. Anyways, you're dumb if you think that way. Sorry, you, you, it needs to be said to you. Don't think like that. It's only self-limiting. If you think like that, you're not gonna get too far in life. Always try your hardest, whether or not you think you're better than it. Uh, but anyways, that's a little bit of a. Uh, off topic. I'm gonna look at uh, look up a couple more questions. I'll be right back. Endicac asks, "What math were you in in senior year?" Hoo hoo hoo! Let me tell you something, Endicac. I was not good. Well, okay. I did not like math. Again, with the I basically I was in a math class and I just I didn't try, and as a result, I got a bad grade in it, and I was not in some crazy ridiculously good math class like I probably should have been like I said like I'm not saying this to my own horn I am smart I'm smart I know how to do things I pick up on things easily I was just one of those punks that was just like I'm too good for the world I better than this I don't need this I'm not being challenged and my grades uh, suffered occasionally as a result of these uh, issues and personal beliefs of mine which I no longer hold to be true for what it's worth but in well, okay, so the question is, what math were you in in senior year? I'm in 10th in Algebra 2 honors. So good on you. Math is important. My best friend is constantly using math for his job that he just got at Panasonic. Sean. Sean's big man, getting real big boy jobs these days. Um, in 10th grade? In 10th grade, I think I was in... <laughs> in 10th grade, I was in Algebra 1. Because in 9th grade, I messed up and didn't pay attention because well I was one of those I was one of those people that a lot of people hate like I never did the homework but I would always get an A on the test and that wasn't good because like in high school homework's homework's worth like sometimes it's worth like 30 or 40 percent and then the test is worth a lot less because like when you're in high school like everyone hates the tests and a lot of people put up with the homework not me I hated homework I never did my homework ever I never ever did my homework and then I would just save my grade by doing good on tests and people don't like that good thing is if you're one of those types of people and you end up going to college college is pretty much all about the test so if you're good at taking tests and you're going to college and you hate homework you gonna you gonna have fun I I'm just gonna say hopefully Choco's in the nether right now so I can sleep please be in the nether Choco yes he's in the nether that is a great thing I'm actually very happy about that <laughs> I was in Algebra 1 in 10th grade. What was my favorite subject? Also asks and get. And to you, to you, I say English and writing. My favorite subjects. I love writing. 
I love English. I love having a command over the English language. Obviously, I talk all day, so I need to be somewhat decent with my English and my my skills. Now, where do I want to put these? These have had their own chest for a while. Let's just put it over here for the time being, huh? Discs, random, brand farm. <laughs> I, I really like English. I love writing. I'm very good at writing. I do essays, um, you know, prompts. Writing's always been my strong point. I always got A's in my English class. Every single time I had an English class, guarantee I had an A in that class. And I loved it. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same about your math or your science or your English, where, you know, if you're good at something, you take pride in it and you really excel. I still never did my homework in those classes, but um, I definitely got my A's. And that's because, uh, you know, I was, I was again, back to, I was, I was a good two-shoes. Kissed up to the teacher because I knew it would help. And it did. It did help. And I don't feel bad about that. But, um, yeah. If you had a group of friends, what would you do or talk about when you hung out? Same same person asked this. Um, I don't really know. Just like, what are you doing this weekend? You want to hang out? No, I can't. I don't have a car. None of us had cars. So, like, we had to be dropped off by our parents, you know, at the movie theaters or whatever we wanted to do. Um, let me figure out a goal that I want to do. I guess I'm still moving the chest. I keep I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be moving chests right now. All right. Let's get back to that. <laughs> Not much going to get done this episode because I'm uh, I'm kind of getting sidetracked and doing this Q&A, I suppose. Oh, my gosh. We still have so more. <laughs> That's all I call it. More. Grab you. Oh, baby. That's a lot of bob drops. Okay. Um, now, okay. You asked a lot of questions at the CAG. I answered most of them. We're going to move on. Let me grab a question real quick. Cupcake King asks, did you play any sports in high school and did you have a crush? Well, of course I had a crush. Everyone has crushes in high school. If you don't have a crush in high school, well, I mean, I'm not going to say everybody has a crush in high school, but almost, I would assume almost everybody has feelings about a certain person at some point or another during high school. And uh, what sports did I play, you say? Well, I played uh, basketball, played soccer. And I played badminton. Badminton's a lot of fun. I do like me some badminton. That's the one that has the little birdie. The shuttlecock is the official name of it. And uh, anyways, <laughs> I played that and that was a lot of fun. That's It's really a lot of hand-eye coordination, very fast. The, uh, the shuttle moves extremely quickly. So if you're not paying attention, there's a good chance you won't get the return on. It's kind of like, uh, it's a, like a form of tennis. If you don't know what it is, that's the closest thing I could uh, compare it to. It's like tennis. So I played that. And, uh, yeah, I had crushes in high school. Um, a few. You know, I had a few crushes in high school. And, uh, again, I was kind of a kind of a weird lad, so I, I never really um, talked to or really had a girlfriend during high school. I had crushes, and I think I went on, like, two dates. But I never really had a girlfriend when I was in high school. And there's nothing wrong with that. Most of you probably... I read some. I don't know if this is true. But I read some that like most people actually don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend through high school. And I'll say this, a lot of you are in high school right now, a lot of you are in middle school, some of you might be in elementary school. You've heard this before, I'm here to reiterate that fact, is there's a good chance the people you talk to and hang out with in high school, middle school, elementary school, there's a very solid chance you won't talk to any of them after high school. I had a lot, I was weird, okay, but I was also funny, so I had friends in school, I had a lot of friends in school, you know how many I talk to now, out of the probably 100, 200 people that knew me and spoke to me fairly regularly, I think I talked to less than 10 from school, people grow up, people do different things, have different goals, different aspirations, um, there's a good chance that you won't ever talk to any of these people once you get out of high school. If you do, that's great. And, you know, like I said, I still do have people that I talk to, but just don't be surprised if that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? Uh, let's, hmm, let me clear up some space real quick. So yeah, I had crushes. Anyways, Double Rainbow asks, what is the biggest thing you regret that you can remember in all of your years of school? Whew, that is a question, I have to say. My biggest regret was not trying my hardest. I can't regret it too much because 
maybe if I had, I wouldn't be doing this, which is my dream. I absolutely love what I do. I'm happy to be able to say that YouTube is my job. I love it. And perhaps if I had tried my hardest, maybe I'd be in a, in a great school right now, but wouldn't be doing YouTube. So it's, it's always difficult to, to, to really know if I can call that a regret. But I'd say it's safe to say that you should always try your hardest. So I'd say my biggest regret would be that I just did not try my hardest while in school. Because uh, I thought it was too good for the system, or I just thought, what's the point? It doesn't matter, you know. Schools, colleges don't care, jobs don't care about school anyways. And you know what? That is absolutely true. When you are going, when you're older and you're getting employed, and people, people you know, ask about your experiences, whether it's work or school, they don't care about high school. They don't care about middle school. But that doesn't mean you should not try. You don't go to school and learn math that you'll never need or learn about history that you'll never need to know, for, the, for, for most of you anyways, for no reason. The reason you do that is because school teaches you how to learn. School teaches you how to take in information and apply it to things. School teaches you how to take a good test and learn how to prepare for a test properly. It teaches you good habits. So school is very important. Maybe necessarily what you're learning you might not ever use in your life, but to say it's not important would be doing you a disservice and lying to you. So I'll say this, my biggest regret was absolutely not trying in school. Did it affect me too much? Am I worse off because I didn't try in school? I would say no, I don't think I am. But you should always 100% give your best efforts while you're in school because because you should always give your 100% best efforts in everything you do. If you're not, you're just hurting yourself. And if there's one thing I've learned in my life, is the best thing you can invest in is in yourself because you are your own person. You are always going to be your own person. You're never gonna be anybody but yourself. And if you're not constantly investing in yourself, then you're not making progress in your life. So, oops, didn't mean to place you. So always be looking out for your best interests. And trying in school is definitely something that is in your interest because it's gonna unlock opportunities in your future. Always think about the long term. Don't think about, you know, get rich quick schemes. Think about what am I gonna be doing when I'm 40 years old? Because odds are what you're doing when you're 20, there's a good chance you might not be doing it when you're 40. Always think about the long term. That is uh, what you should take away from that. Now, Aaron Jill asks, did you meet Sean and Brienne in high school? No. Well, not Brienne. I <laughs> forgot. I did meet Sean in high school. Um, we actually went to the same elementary school as well, but I did not really know Sean uh, in elementary school. But I knew him in high school, and that's where I met. We kind of started hanging out like freshman year, sophomore year, grades 9 or 10, a.k.a. And uh, he was part of my group that I would hang out with every day. And uh, that's, that's how I know Sean. He slowly became my best friend. And uh, love him to bits and pieces, pretty much. Is uh, I don't need that. I don't need the feathers. I'll put those in there. All I have to say about that in terms of Sean, yeah, I met him. In, I met him in school, about grade nine, grade ten. How I how I met him? He was friends with an old group of friends that I had, and I eventually just kind of met him through that. Brianna actually met because another friend of mine worked at Disneyland, and so did she. And there was a little party that we went to, and uh, Brianna was at that party. And that's how I met Brienne. And that was about, it's about four years ago, pretty much. About that. So, <laughs> funny how things go sometimes. Now, uh, let me place these, what did I just grab? I just grabbed wood. We need a specific area to place down block related things. Let's place, I think, okay, yeah, let's place blocks up here. How about that? That's good. Okay. So this will be wood. Oh man. Maybe uh how about this? Here's a here's a here's a better idea. Ready for this? Place it down here so it's a little easier to see. Wood. And uh, that's the only one we have for the time being. <laughs> so um let me grab a question. Dandy the hipster says, Hey log, how did you deal with knowing your crush liked someone else but didn't know you liked them? Well, 
goes back to what I said before. You're going to have crushes. You might even have your heart broken in high school. You just need to understand that as, as, as forever as it feels right now, it really does not matter. It does not matter. High school does not matter in terms of crushes, girlfriends, boyfriends, he said, she said. None of that matters. It does right now, but like two, three years after you finish high school, you're going to look back and laugh. And I promise you will look back and laugh. I didn't believe it either. I was just like, nah, that's not going to happen. Well, I did believe it. I, I did believe it because, you know, it's, it's realistic. And I, I'm a realist. I'm the realist. <laughs> um, to answer your question, if if someone if someone has a crush on somebody else and you have a crush on them but they don't know it, well, either let them know. Gotta be brave. Tell them, hey, I like you. You know, let's hold hands sometime or whatever you do when you're only in high school or elementary school. I don't really know middle school perhaps. Um, either tell them how you feel or don't feel bad when when they tell the other person they like how they feel and. Uh, and it goes from there because if you're not brave enough to say something, then don't be hurt when when they are, I guess, is uh, my opinion of that. Tina Petapaletia says, did you like or do you like reading? If so, what is your favorite book? Do you like The Hunger Games, The Maze Runner, Divergent, etc., etc., or books about dystopian futures? If you are a fan of books with dystopian futures, I would highly recommend either 1984 by George Orwell or Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Both great books. I love reading. Do I read anymore? No. And it is terrible that I don't read. I simply don't have the time. I had so much time when I was in school just doing reading through that. However, um, I just don't know. So what I'll say to you is if you do, oops, if you do enjoy reading, do a lot of it in school before you have adult responsibilities because I know a lot of adults they just don't read anymore because they have too many other things they need to do a lot do read and if you truly love reading and have a passion for it you'll find the time but if you're anything like me and you've got for lack of a better and nicer thing to say bigger fish to fry then there's a chance you might not pick up a book for a long time after you're, you're done with school let's grab another question okay here's a fun one shadow warrior asks did you post videos when you were in high school on YouTube if not when did you start? You know, this is actually a fantastic question. To answer it, yes, I did. I started posting videos in 2006, almost 10 years. Well, I guess really closer to nine years ago in July. It'll have been in July. My, my YouTube account's actually nine years old. There's a chance, actually, no, 100% certainty that my YouTube channel is older <laughs> than some of the people watching. Isn't that just a, a mind blow right there? Are you kidding me? That's crazy, but it's true. I started uploading videos in 2006, which I suppose would have made me 13 and in grade nine, freshman year of high school. And I used to upload RuneScape videos because I played RuneScape when I was in high school. And uh, that's another thing is I didn't really have many friends. Um, well, okay. I had friends. I had a lot of friends in school, but like outside of school, I didn't really hang out with people outside of school. One, because I didn't have a car. Two, because I didn't have a job, so I didn't have money. And three, because I played RuneScape all day. I played nothing but RuneScape. And one day I saw someone made a music video in RuneScape, uh, like to some song. I think it was like Eminem or something or what have you. And I was like, wow, that looks really cool. I want to do that. And I wasn't good enough to do that. So, um, well, I mean, I, I did it. I did end up doing it. Um, I made music videos. I did a couple music videos of uh, Red Hot Chili Pepper songs and Kaiser Chiefs and The Bravery. I did a bunch of music videos to some of their songs. And, uh, well, I think I only did three or four total. But I did music videos. And then I was like, you know, these are really hard. And, and I suck. And I'm not that good. So let's just try and make other videos. So I started making videos of me. Uh, killing bosses or taking on fights in game or killing other people doing quests stuff like that and uh, I made videos doing that and uh, and it was it was really fun because again like I was kind of weird I didn't talk to too many people again I had friends in school but when it came to outside of school I kind of just 
kind of just kept it myself. I kind of just did my own thing. Everybody was hanging out after school, watching TV or whatever together. I just played on the computer all day, made friends online. Uh, you know, I still have people on my Skype list that I message every so often that um, I've had on there for yeah about for longer. I've I've I I, I still talk to people that I've known since before I even had Skype over ten years. There are people in my life that I met online 10 years ago that I still to this day talk to. Isn't that something? That's probably the, I'm probably one of the first people to, to do that in terms of like, you know, generation, I guess. I think that's really interesting. Um, but yeah, I used to make, I used to make RuneScape videos and uh, then I started doing Minecraft videos and got real bored of it. I got bored of Minecraft and I was like, this game sucks. I don't like it. It's boring. And, I quit for like, quit making videos on it for like a year or two. And then I came back, all these new updates came out. And I just like fell in love with the game again. And it was like so much fun. And here I am, <laughs> still doing it after all that time. So uh, that is the answer to your question. Yes, I, uh, I did make videos. I'm gonna grab another question. Cool guy 17 asks, did you get into any fights? Real fights, quartz, I like how I I don't know, that's real nice. While I was in school. No, I didn't. I did not get into any fights while I was in school. However, I saw, I saw fights. I saw people get all fisted cups. I actually had a friend that got into a fight right in the science hallway because we had different hallways for, um, I guess, our different category. Like we had a hallway where all the foreign language classes were like Spanish, French, stuff like that, Latin. We had a math hallway where all the math classes were. Um, in the science hallway, my uh, friend, <laughs> I actually don't talk to him anymore. Uh, he moved away, but uh, he got into a fight with another lad over something stupid. I don't even remember, but I just remember he just started wailing on this kid, just punching him, punching him, punching him. This was in high school. And uh, just wailing on him. And this other kid, he just just could not or did not fight back at all and uh so my friend was just beating on him real good then the other kid throws in a nice real sucker punch just pow right in the kiss it gets him real good kind of takes my friend to back and then he just starts going even harder on this other guy and he started just beating him real good and then uh he ran because a whole crowd started to form around the area as well and um so he bailed he uh, <laughs> he ran. He ran like the wind. And you know what's funny is he never got caught for that. He never got in trouble for that because the other kid, the other kid didn't rat him out or say anything. Cause like when you're in high school, it's kind of like looked down upon to like tell on people. I'm not saying you should do that if you're watching this. If you're getting harassed or hurt in school, it's totally worth it to say something to somebody. But he didn't the kid that was getting messed up on, he didn't do that. So, um, my friend got away with it. And I saw a couple other fights and I almost, I almost got in a fight, but I, I decided <laughs> to not, because one, I was definitely gonna lose against this person. And two, I just figured it, it wasn't worth, back to what I was saying, it's just sometimes it's not worth getting in trouble over. Don't get yourself in trouble over some stupid kid that wants to throw a couple punches at you because the real pain you're going to feel is when you have to explain to your parents why you're suspended or why you have to go to a different school because you got real dirty with some lad and brawled all day and all night. So definitely don't do anything like that because that's just not a good idea. We have Anime Freak Asahi 16. Oh, I know who you are. I see you on Twitter all the time. Asked. Asked a lot, but we're going to go with, did you ride the bus to school and back? Did you learn how to drive right at 16? I used to ride the bus to school almost every single day. Um, I used to ride it in elementary school. I went to elementary school and I'd ride the bus to school because my parents couldn't pick me up because they worked. And I would just ride the city bus. And boy, were there some freaky, freaky people <laughs> on the city bus. Public transportation, definitely a home to some weirdos, absolutely. But I did ride the bus every day from like third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Seventh grade, I uh, actually lived like right down the street from my school. It was literally like my school, at, or my, my neighborhood, and then like 
two-minute bike ride down the hill right there was my school. So I would just rode my bike or walk to school during that time. And I guess we can keep the sand. All the other sand is from uh, <laughs> from when I sandstormed the lagoon. We'll keep you all in here. May as well. Um, and then I, I, uh, I used to ride the... I, I moved uh, after at grade 10 in high school. So I wasn't by that area anymore. But for, for grades, for grade 9, I used to get a ride in the morning and then I'd take the bus home. And then grade 10, I... Uh, Started to ride my bike, and it was like a 30-minute bike ride. Oh, we'll keep the gravel with the over here. Yeah, that's good. And we'll keep all this. Oh, I didn't even notice all this other stain. I like somehow looked over it. Um, I moved again, like grade 11, and then I started to just walk home every day because I was. I live in a city that's nothing, literally nothing but hills. So, you know, I just I walked to sit because it like wasn't worth trying to get your bike up all the hills. So this is wool and dyes. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that, but that'll force me to be fast, I guess. <laughs> uh, dang it, let me uh, let me grab another question then. Okay, here's a cool question. This one is from Shane Mabari, and it is, what was your first experience of high school like? Well, that's actually a fun one. All I remember about my first high school experience was getting dropped off by my mama. She dropped me off at school. Like, they have a good first day at school, honey. You know, the usual standard or, you know, what have you. Perhaps it's not the standard, but that's how it happened with me. And I got dropped off, and the first thing I noticed when I was there at, like, 7.30 in the morning was, like, wow, all these people look so much older than me. And I saw, like, all the seniors. <laughs> I saw the different uh, high school seniors. And um, some of them had, like, facial hair and stuff. And I was just in... I was at a school that was only grade six, seven, and eight. Well, I was at a school that was grades four, five, and six, and I went to grades four, five, and six there, and then I transferred to a middle school that was grades six, seven, and eight. So I started there in seventh grade, uh, but didn't go there for six, and then I stayed there for eighth grade as well. So I went from a, from grade six, seven, eight to a high school, which meant I went from everyone basically looking the same um, to like people that literally look like adults to me. <laughs> Messing, oh, Chioko, messing around at, at high school with their freaking ripped jeans and their facial hair, and it scared me. And also, that was my, uh, I guess I had, I guess I had cla different classes in middle school. Do I just have two plant chests? What the heck? Um, but I remember the, f the first thing was I could not navigate around my school. So the first thing that happened to me was uh, I got lost. <laughs> I got lost my first day of school, and I was late to my very first high school class. And I remember my stupid, ugh, I hated this teacher. He uh, he was my geography teacher. And like the first thing he said to me when I walked in was, wow, what a great way to start off your high school experience, being late. And he marked me late, piece of crap, I tell you what. That guy ended up being a uh, pedophile and he actually went to jail. So funny how it happens sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> so I was late to my very first class and I sat next to uh, two, two people, one of which I somewhat keep in touch with today and one of which I have not heard from in a very, very long time. So that is that. Colorful Pies asks, what was your most memorable school achievement? And I'm also going to say that that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good memory or a bad memory. I mean, I guess achievement is considered positive. So let's go with good and bad memory. Okay, I like that. I will put the plants over here while we're at it. Um, well, like I said, I was a little smarty pants. <laughs> I was good in school. I'd say one of my most memorable achievements was... Um, I've had a lot of memorable achievements. That sounds so cocky. I'm so sorry. I don't even mean it that way. I want to give two memorable ones. One that was an actual achievement and one that I just really remember. Um, hey, buddy. Oh, you're always upset. Give me a break. <laughs> Do I need another? I guess I need another farm chest. How about that? Okay, so my most memorable, as in I remember it, was in elementary school in, I think, fifth grade? We had a school-wide spelling bee. And um, there was this girl, well, there was, I think there was like two different girls that I thought were cute and I kind of had a crush on that were in the spelling bee with me, as well as, you know, handful of just other people. 
that were in there with me. Oh gosh, what have I done? <laughs> we have to make a quick potions chest. Um, and uh, again, I I'm good at spelling. I again good grasp of the English language. I know how to do things like spell. Remember, I have a good memory. I have a very good memory. Uh, selective memory, but a good one at that. <laughs> and um, I won. I won that spelling bee. And uh, what was real cool about it was, you know, I I did better than the girl I had a crush on. Uh, than both girls I had a crush on. And I thought, oh boy, I did really good at spelling. Maybe they'll like me now. Didn't help. <laughs> for uh, for the record, but um, nice squeak, Tyler, that I just did there, did not help. But uh, I just remember winning. I won the spelling bee because I spelt the word differentiate. And I'm not gonna tell you how to spell that, but uh, if you're interested, in trying to spell it, you can see see if you can spell it. If you can't, and you're in fifth grade, well, that's when I won in fifth grade. I spelt that in fifth grade. So <laughs> just a little fun tidbit there. So that's that's a real memorable one. And then another memory was just, um, I got, there was like an auditorium thing, everybody in the classroom, or everybody in the school was in this auditorium, and I got, I got, um, I got brought up to the front of the stage, along with a handful of other people that did good in school. You know, I got, I basically got the principal and all of them to say, like, these fine students have shown that... Basically, it was just it was just making us feel real good about ourselves. You, these kids are great, and you should be great too. And let's award them for being great. So I think we got like a we got like access to like this gold coin luncheon that you have, where all the smarty pantses get to eat lunch together. Real good lunch compared to the uh, the normal slop that they have at school. So that was pretty fun. That was fun for me. And then. Um, the other experience that I remember, and it wasn't a good one, but it was one I remember was um, it was my father passed away when I was 12. I was in, I think it was in either seventh or eighth grade, and all I'll say is word spread about that very quickly, and um, I just remember when I finally went back to school like a week after it happened, I, I had a nice note from, and I still have this, a, a huge, uh, a huge letter like just written on by all my friends saying, you know, I'm sorry, I hope things get better, uh, stuff like that. And that was written for me. And um, I just remember getting that note and I guess thinking to myself, like, it's it's nice that people care. <laughs> what a <clears throat> what a terribly somber note to end this episode on. But turns out we did jack squat, but you learned a lot about me and I answered a good amount of questions in fair detail. So uh, all I'll say to wrap up this episode is the following. Expect episode 100 this Friday. Expect regular episodes of How to Minecraft to resume more consistently after episode 100. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something about me. Again, leave questions uh, for the next Q&A that I do. Maybe in a couple weeks from now. Maybe sooner than that. About being an adult. Things that come from being an adult. Hope you enjoyed How to Minecraft episode 99. Drop a like on the video if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. And we will see you for the next episode. See ya.